pretend like it's the general election, you're the Democratic candidate, and the Republican candidate is bashing the recent health care legislation, what's your response? Who's my Republican opponent? <laughs> We're all the same. I was going to say, are they going to say anything different on that? I doubt it. <laughs> out of a, out of a this, this is my response. I, I am not accustomed to answering something in a hypothetical sense. What would you have done? It's like debating what would you have voted on the war resolution to go into Iraq. At this point, the decisions have been made. We will know what will be the law of the land. There will be a, a, a question in the courts to consider what aspects of this are constitutional. What I can tell you is that I am for a health care proposal that decreases the cost. That's the question for the next congressman. Does this health care bill actually reduce the cost of health care? Does it take care of Medicare? Does it put into jeopardy our senior citizens that are depending on that now? Does it do anything to bring down the price of prescription drugs? I mean, we, we have a piece of legislation that, that grants pharmaceutical companies a, a $16 billion fee and lets them go forward and charge whatever they need. We've got a system today where you can buy pharmaceuticals, the same pharmaceutical in Canada, for $5 a hundred, or India at $3 a hundred, and pay $28 a hundred here in the United States. That was not dealt with in this legislation. So what I would say is that we need to tone down the rhetoric and stop talking about causes and look at how this is impacting the pocketbook of everyday Americans and the people here in the Tennessee Valley. Because there is no question we've got to do something for cost containment in health care. And so let's look to the future of what needs to be done next. Oh, you got, you've got switched out of order. Holy smokes, I'm not ready. Wait. <laughs> okay, well, I'll tell you something. That's a really good question. I'm glad you brought that up. You know, even if I don't look like it, I really am glad. No, seriously. <laughs> seriously, there are some things about the health care legislation that everybody liked and didn't like, but I'm going to tell you a couple of things that I liked. And I would, if I were on the campaign trail against anyone other Republican primary, I would be talking about. I like the fact that people are not going to be denied anymore because of a pre-existing condition. I like the fact that someone will not have their health insurance dropped when they become seriously ill. And I like the fact that met some of the Medicare uh, people's uh, prescription drugs will be reclassified, so maybe they won't have to choose next week next month, or whenever it comes into effect, I probably should say next year, between buying their prescription drugs or buying groceries for the month. Now there are things that concern everyone because they have to be worked out. There are even constitutional challenges. But I think that ha something has to be done because we have a system of health care that on the one hand has wonderful achievements. You can go to UAB or even here in Huntsville and see great miracles. You can also find people that you probably know or you can find by not going five miles who live with third world medical care. It was not an option to do nothing. So there are a lot of things I like about what's been done so far and we can do a lot more. Now there's one other point I want to make that feeds right off of the health care legislation that was just passed. And that is if I were in Congress as opposed to the current member, do you notice how narrow the vote was in the House? Just think what a few members of that House that had their uh, district's welfare at heart could have done with something like the NASA budget. You can vote for good things and you can also, because you're working with people, work on something like Aries Constellation or something like BRAC or something like transportation. And I can guarantee you that if I was voting on important legislation tomorrow as your congressman, I would be also talking to people, you need my support? We also need support in Huntsville, in Athens, and Decatur, and all around the district, and get a lot more out of it than the current occupant of the seat is getting. But thank you for that question. Thank you.
my problem is a lot of objections to the self bill is um, they're unreasonable. If we have you have a job and you lose a job, the house is mortgaged, and you have these huge health care problems. Uh, you're, you're, but for the grace of God, for why you're going to the whole family is going to be uh, wrecked. And so I I don't quite understand why people are so uh, object to the health care bill so much. Now I, I probably would have. Uh, Transition of Medicaid a little. I would have spent some uh, more delicate transitioning through Medicaid to get this kind of coverage, but I am really glad that the health care bill passed. Thank you. All right. Thank you. <laughs> so after a year long yeah. Washington. Yeah. Quiet down so we, we can hear him. After a year-long Washington-style debate and now three opponents talking about health care, you've really heard everything there is to say. But ultimately, the bill is a good start. It, it, it handles rescission, which is a horrible thing. When you have insurance and you get sick and then you're uh, rescinded from your policy, and guess what? You don't have insurance when you need it. That is something that we needed to take care of, and that is a common-sense approach to the bill. I don't know if it does enough to cover costs. I, as recently as last week, uh, I had concerns about whether or not I would or would not vote for the bill. Ultimately, I think it is a good first step in putting regulation on an insurance industry that ultimately has control over our health care right now. Uh, I think health care has to be about people and not profit, and, and the bill as it is right now, I will work to make it better, and there are obviously challenges that are coming, but I will work to make it better, and it is a good first step in taking the profit out of health care and putting people first in health care. So ultimately, that's where I am.